Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. Well, I have the Victor 3 motor running now. I have it mounted on the board. I showed you in a previous video how to work, how to mount these. I got it running. I got the two nipples on the spring barrel shaft. I replaced both of those. There's the one of the culprits that I had to replace. And the nice thing about this is we're gonna with a handy dandy little screwdriver here, I can just bring it wide open. Or I can just absolutely shut the motor off. This is my slide speed control with my screwdriver. This is a lot of fun. A lot of people wonder, how am I going to grease this gear? Am I going to sit here and dab this all day long? No. What are you going to do? You can turn the motor on a little. Just get it running a wee bit, right about maybe there. Something you can stay with. And you use the end of a Q-tip, not the cotton piece. You cut the tip off and you use this. And you just take the little dab and you dab the spindle shaft a little bit. And we'll speed it up a little. There we go. Might be running down. Do a couple cranks. Now you can see the, the grease coming around. And this is how you get the grease onto the spindle shaft. And while you're doing this, you're listening to the motor run. And then if you get a little too much on there, you can just take the Q-tip into the gear, grab it off, stick it back on. This is a little trick I learned, taught myself years ago, because I'm habitually lazy, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. The motor's running well. I have a little bit of a tick in the governor gear right here, this brass gear, I think when it had a motor run, I'll Take this apart, pull the spindle shaft out, and check all that. You know, this is a lot of fun. I want to show you how the board worked to holding the motors, and that's my tip for the day.